guess. Look, I don't like the rat, but I'm a lover, man. the show Jerry is here is this thing on hello hello it's on we're recording in here oh man great great Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Trouble. It's your own right. Fault. So, AJ, Watch you know yourself. the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market and kids. Even with his garbage camps, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. We can't let AJ kill kids. Whatever. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging yes. the guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, The Mystery of Mayor Murphy.
mistress of mystery. What brings you to Scully Square on such a foul night? Tracking our dear Mayor Murphy, who is up to some mischief. The mayor? So he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity? He runs the Hardly. Here, let me show the you. Job. The contents of the late mayor's case. But these are real estate papers, leases and deeds for most of the businesses in Scully Square. Indeed they are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem uh, our Mayor Jeff Murphy was Scully involved Scully. in a rather crooked caper. He was here to meet with some other mysterious malefactor. So, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found the place all... What the? Silver Shroud! And Mistress of Mystery? We and the Mayor? Friends of AJ here. Dead? You follow? Right, Fady. Hey, you. The infamous my boss. This is my turn. So, and you I don't appreciate what you Murphy. call him... But why? Trespassers. Tell me, and you may Fady. yet live. Best listen to my friend, Fahey. I'll never you AJ? Talk. The and dealer who sells to children? Head. Yeah, that's me. So be it. I'm a entrepreneur. You, and making and a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Shroud. Cherry flavored jets, bubblegum mentats. <laughs> them Diamond City kids just eat them up. Selling chems to kids shot. is just You're wrong. Shot. What's it to ya? Oh, crazy. Uh, just they can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little him. kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. No. I'll pay you, we'll let's say, now. 50 caps just that to shut up about it. And, uh, and maybe get Kent off my badly. back. All right? Must get back to my... Hush now, Last chance. I'll now, take you to my more it is close. kids. And that uh, you're through, Wait. son. Ah, to hell with you. Waster. So Indeed, it has old friends. Old love. Indeed, Just when I thought we were getting And now, on. we must away. What will become of our stalwart heroes? Find oh, out what happens next week. Other. Another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is... The Silver Shroud. Today's episode in the parlor of mysteries. Jasmine. Chamomile. Hey. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's the sure to interrogate City. him to find the Good evil news. doer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the Downstairs. guilty. That guardian is the Silver Shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fahey's Folly. Looks like we got another freak just won't fit in. Hey, Charlie. Else. Make way for paying customers. Come on, dog face. It's Three right through here. Magnolia, better drink up. Got no tolerance for freeloaders here. Aw, oh, gee, Polly. I ain't never What's been on tap? Secret Ain't no mandolin lager. What it's cold, so wet, and guaranteed rad free. I'll give you a joke the right hideout. circuits. Into my hideout. Nah, relax, boss. She's all right. Ain't you all right? I'm looking for someone. Kendra? Kendra is yeah. not one to be trifled with. 
people associated with our other habit of being found face down in a ditch. You'll set on meeting for fear of coming away. All right, the skirt can stay, but close that door. Last thing we need is. I'm not hiring her. I'm gonna kill her. He's serious. Sarcasm sometimes bungles up me processes. In that case, she's got a flat just south of Goodnape. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business that. Quite right, custodian of criminality. For I am not Candy, the captivating companion. It is I, the mistress of mystery. I have yeah, clouded I Polly's paltry song. perceptions to gain access to your den of depravity. Sorry, boss. I had no idea. Your mistake is our gain, Polly, is it? Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No-No's who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming, a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man looks. That's all of them. Fat Fahey's mob bots have been sent back to the mechanical hell that spawned them. Yes, my choleric companion. And no, robotic hell spawn they were. But not Fat Fahey's. For he himself presented the facts. Someone else is actually... The master of it all. You're right. But who? Dearest mistress of mysteries, you and I have battled Boston's rogues gallery for years. This, this is someone new. Certainly, but which bad. criminal culprit Let has the technological know-how to construct such clockwork calamities? I don't... You don't know anything? Yeah, right. But I, I do see... And I'll tell you two on one condition. By the shadowed streets of Selfie, one of the mob bot's heads is still talking. You darn right I am. I can't feel my legs, cause you shot me up, Coach Shroud. But I still got my kiss to see, and, and I'm gonna use it to tell you where the big boss man is, see? And your one condition? You take my head with you, so I can see you take that creep down. Yeah, what did he ever do for me, huh? Okay, so he created me. What they do? Who needs a father who sends his kids oh, up to die? Silver Shroud, I sense truth in this clockwork crook. Shall I? Use your blade of bastard to free the Mabot's head from its now destroyed body. Come on, do it. Ha! Sweet freedom! Thanks, Dollface! Move. 
There.
something out there. Look who it is. It'll be a good fight! I hope you were smarter than this. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. 
Who's your boss? A walking corpse like you shouldn't trouble yourself about that. <laughs> Grab that. Can do. Uh, any chance you got a second now? Uh, anybody still in there? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am. That I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong, I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City, and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but... My entire life, I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am. My judgment, my speech, hell, even my name. They're his, and I can't do a damn thing about it, because without them, without them, I'm nothing. A shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I... I'm just gonna need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're... You're a real good friend. Thanks. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it.
Not much for conversation today, are you? 